here in England in summer, you're likely to find boys playing marbles. Boys like Tommy Watkins and his friends. Our girls have their own games, of course. Here's Tommy's sister, Joan, and her friends. It seems a shame to be leaving the outdoors this fine summer afternoon, but inside the school it's not bad either. We have very pleasant school buildings in our city. Many of our boys and girls like to draw. And that's what Tommy's class is doing today. Tommy's pretty good. Today he's drawing a big steamship like those he sees when he goes to the seaside. It isn't long till school is out, and here is Tommy, watching his brother Frank playing in a game of cricket. It's Frank's turn to bat. He takes his place at the wicket, waiting for the ball. The bowler ball's a fast one, but Frank makes a hit. Here he goes. That's one run for his team, and that's another. And now Frank's going to bat again. Here's another fast one, but good hit, sir. And he's off again. The fielder fumbles, but, but he throws the ball back, and the umpire signals Frank out. Too bad, thinks Tommy. But Frank has put up a good show. Not far away at the grocer's, Sister Joan and her mother are shopping. The apples are quite nice today. Mrs. Watkins will have some of them. Now that'll cost Mrs. Watkins one shilling and seven pence. There are twelve pennies in a shilling, you know. And Joan gives the grocer one shilling, one sixpence, and one penny. Now, the shopping done, Joan and her mother are off for home. The boys are on their way to meet their father. They're walking along the old city wall, built long ago to protect the city from enemies. Beyond, they can see the railway yards, and behind them, stretch the rooftops of our city. It's called York, an old city in the north of England. Across the oldest part of the city here below, you can see the towers of York Minster, our cathedral. Now the ball down to the station, and here comes Father. Mr. Watkins is an engine driver. This afternoon, he's from Scotland. Now here on this pleasant street is where the Watkins family lives. Joan is cutting flowers for the table. She loves to choose and arrange the flowers. Mr. Watkins always has many flower beds in his garden. It's one we like to look at as we walk along the street. In the kitchen, Mrs. Watkins is buttering thin slices of bread for tea. She has the meal almost ready. Now at the stove she makes the tea. From the kettle she pours boiling water over the tea leaves in the pot. And then it's ready for the table. In the dining room Mrs. Watkins has the table already laid. Is everything here? Yes. There's cold meat and tomatoes bread and butter, jam and cake. It's six o'clock. Time for tea. Frank hurries in to switch on the wireless. But Tommy's eyes are all for the good things they're having to eat. Topics of the moment in the series Talking Sports. Sports Report was edited by Angus Mackay 
and was introduced by Raymond Glendenny. This is the BBC Light Programme. Next, we present Ted Heath and his music. Father says he's on holiday next week. And are they going to the seaside? Yes, Mother replies. Grandmother's expecting us. Ooh, can I take Spot with me too, asks Tommy. Of course, says Joan. Who would feed him here? Spot is in the back, waiting patiently for his tea. But he doesn't have long to wait. And it doesn't take long for Father to finish tea. He likes to spend the long, warm summer evenings working in the garden. The holiday has come at last. It's a rather grey day, as holidays too often are here in England. But our friends are at the station early, looking forward eagerly to their day at the seaside. With Tommy and Spot in the lead, they hurry past the ticket collector, and just in time, here's their train. The guard opens the carriage door. Tommy hurries up the steps and down the corridor to find an empty compartment. This compartment will do nicely. Frank and Tommy bag seats nearest the window. There's a lot to see as they go along. Soon they're racing through our pleasant Yorkshire countryside. Passing houses and farms, fields and hedges. Now here's the harbour at the seaside and the boys lose no time getting down to see the fishing boats. They've had many happy holiday visits here before, and most of the boats seem like old friends. Every day in good weather, our fishermen sail these boats out to sea for fish. Just now, all the boats are resting here in the harbor. The fishermen are old friends too. Today, they're mending the big nets that they use to catch the fish. Perhaps later, the boys will get these hardy men to tell exciting stories about their adventures on the sea. Now, the Watkins family goes up through the narrow streets of the town to the winding steps that lead right up to the top of the cliffs above the harbor. This is the way to Grandmother's cottage. Grandmother's cottage at last. It's a snug place up here above the town. Joan and Tommy can hardly wait to see their grandmother. And here she is, glad to see them too. Grandfather is in the doorway to give one and all a warm welcome. The trip is over, and now they settle down around the cheerful fire in Grandmother's pleasant living room.
for a rest and a cozy chat. It's really going to be a fine holiday. Thank you.